Hello, welcome to my channel and welcome to the very first video of this channel, which I'm so excited to start. Um, to start off, my name is Tin and um, th this channel will be all about planning, stationery, and all of that fun stuff. It is a little bit of a hobby of mine. So I thought since it is the end of September, but better late than never, September is what I call oh, the Hobonichi month is when you can really pick out all the different offerings that Hobonichi has. And I'm gonna show you what I got this um, for the next upcoming 2024 year. And also a little bit of um, a fountain pen unboxing, the ink and, and a journal cover that will come with the Hobonichi of my choice. So let's get started. I did um, purchase uh, what where I got mine. I purchased it from like a, a business here in Canada. It is paper plus cloth. I just thought because I'm not, I don't, I'm not gonna have a big order, so I just thought I might as well order from Canada. But if I did place a huge order, then I would actually order from the actual store. But let's get started. I have already unboxed this. Like I said, I received this like two weeks ago, so. I've unboxed everything. I do not have the constraint to wait two weeks, but let's get started. So, very quickly, I did keep the packaging and stuff for this video, but I must let you know, already unboxed, already used one of them, which it is currently, the missing one is in my commonplace journal, just right here. It had a bunch of sticky notes and reminders, but this is, um, it's called Aurora Duty. And I'm so sorry if I'm saying this um, incorrectly, but it is by Hiroko Kubuta. What I really like about Hobonichi is that they actually do um, these collaborations with the different artists. And this, honestly, this just happens to be my favorite, so I bought two. Just in case something happens to this one, I have a backup in hand. I really, I really like this, you know? And it's gonna go hand in hand with the cover I actually bought, so. Next one, I bought them together. Again, oh, so sorry. I bought the A6 size just because I tend to carry medium sized purses and the Weeks and the A5 are just or sorry, the cousin, A5 cousin, kind of same thing. They're all too large for the for the actual handbags I use. So A6 for me is the perfect, perfect, perfect size. So there's that. So this one is a stencil board, same thing as the Aurora Judy I just showed you, but this time it's by a different artist. Oh. I'm so sorry about this. I have a I have a bit of an injury. My long story short, finger got stuck in like the, by the car door. So yeah, I don't think anyone wants to see this bruise, so I've covered it up. But it's um, El Machino Del. I'm not sure if this is actual name. Let me sorry guys. One second. Let me open this up. Because his name will be Japanese, so actually, I don't know, but it, it is most likely um, T Makino. This one has it has the same thing. A six size. Um, I I do really. This is again my favorite, my Stalogy that I'm currently using size a6 one thing about this because uh, once i ran out of this um this commonplace i am planning to switch over this i did not this is actually my very first year of ordering hobonichi i do come from a uh, bullet journaling and personal rings background and I, I wanted to switch things up i wanted to try something new and i do really like 
the art prints they come in like it's one of the things i love and i just wanted to try it and i wish i actually like look in depth and not just hit card for this because i would have i would have loved it if this one had more pages but let's see what is inside? looks like this pretty standard graph paper from what i've gathered um from the community so far as that hobonichi paper is um a step above slightly better than the stylogy but i must admit i love the stylogy layout nothing can beat this you know i actually really love this for some reason and the graph and the... but we will see we will see i can always go back to a stylogy and you know what this is a beautiful um art print beautiful paper goes really well with the stencil board so honestly why not you know and next is actually oops, next is actually this hobonichi tetra planner 2024 i chose the um i wanted the japanese version actually but i ordered locally here in canada they only had the english version so it's it's fine <laughs> Not the big deal, not the biggest deal. So it comes with a little bit of um, uh, about this planner. Really love that. And it will come with like this present. It comes with doodles. Yes. Oh, I love that. Gives you all the things. I love these animal characters because I do, I love to doodle, so I, I, I can appreciate that. And this is the, um, what is going to be my planner essentially for next year, paired with this, um, I bought this from a local um, small business here in Canada. It did take quite a while to get to me and I ended up getting a different color than what I ordered, but honestly, I'm very, very happy with it. That's okay. Um, I do actually recommend this product. The reason why I got this is actually my favorite, favorite, favorite notebook is actually, it's a little bit bougie, but at the time that I bought this, it's way less than what it actually is the price now. And I, back then I could justify this, maybe not so much the price for this anymore, but this is the Hermes Ulysses size PM. And I essentially wanted the same thing of what this is, but my gripe with this is that you kind of have to use like the Hermes, like its own Hermes paper. But I, I actually like, I know how to customize agendas like i said i came from a bullet journaling and personal ring planning so just hop on really quick to canva switched over what i just printed cut and all of that stuff put it in this instead of um and in, instead of a regular paper but the reason why i bought this is actually i wanted this but with the slip pockets that the slip pocket so I can actually put a size A6, whatever A6 notebook that I want. I don't have to go in and, you know, print stuff out. Because it does, does kind of take some time. But, oh, other side note. This is slightly longer. If you can see that. It's a little bit, um, it's longer than a size, um, like a close to a6 but it's longer in width so let me show you very quickly right this is the hermes one yeah like a lot longer and and you can somehow like you can you can actually make this work you can somehow put this part put it at the back but even if you do that closing it is like just very like just very weird and just awkward because you know when you're closing the snap button there is that like 
you, yeah, it's just very awkward, guys. That's all I can say. That's all I can really say for that. But if you want like an in-depth um, review for the the Hermes Ulysses, just let me know. And how I can like you know fully customized notebook or agenda with them or how to make them essentially. And I can also make a six ring planner video, the different setups. Just let me know what you want to see. But this is um yes. This is actually how I found out Hobonichi Weeks. I tried Hobonichi Weeks here. And for the for next year, I might actually do a weekly layout and do the dailies because because okay let me show you guys uh, okay one second I'm just trying to look at which page I can show you guys Okay, so I do like five things I'm grateful for today. And before I got this salogy, it was kind of um, where I was writing the five things I'm grateful for every day was just, you know, on it was just, it was a bit of everywhere, but I, I'm really just really, really excited to start this planner. So quick overview. You get the monthly. Oh, oops. I skipped over some stuff. Okay. You get an, a yearly overview 2024, 2025, and yearly overview, but you know, you can go in and actually write stuff down. You get into the monthly. And I'm missing stuff again. Yes. You. Turning page into a new year, you get to write whatever you want. Here is the dailies, but there is something here that I want to show you guys. Okay, perfect. Sorry, a bit too, it's a bit hard to flip the pages, but coming up May, I would really like get some use out of this this page because I do like to to see what's gonna happen in that month and and schedule it to different days. So really excited about that. We're coming up. Da, 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 da. It comes with just regular line paper, whatever you want to put in there. Your notes. So if you're used to the Japanese version, I guess this is what the English version is like. Flip through the My 100. I'm planning to put all of the um, the K dramas and the books I write in here. Actually, very excited to start that for next year. Size chart. Mm, I love this. I would really. Th this will actually come in handy because this is like weirdly something that I Google a little bit too much. So conversion table, important contacts. Again, and even in my own personal I always at the end always put a contact list because you never know when your phone dies when you need it you know digital is great but it has its own, its own pros and cons if your phone dies out of nowhere that has happened to me it just broke just stopped working and this would have been helpful if I wrote my stuff down right so very excited to start all of that let me quickly tidy this up oh I will link all of the stuff below especially this one but just letting you know you might have to wait a little bit longer but in my opinion it's worth it Second. Okay. now on to the the pen so again already unboxed already used <laughs> because I'm a little bit too late, you know, filming this. But this is the second fountain pen I have. The first one I bought for really cheap. It was, um, it's not really cheap. It was $10, so I guess a really cheap um, pen would be like a dollar, right? So this is still quite a lot of money for a pen. Um, this is Extra Fine Shren. 
I bought it at um, a local stationery store near me. They don't have an online business or anything like that. So, but I guess you can look this up, this brand, Shren. I, I, I don't like the nib. I'm gonna be honest, I don't like the nib. But it was the first thing I found, right? Okay, there we go. It's an extra fine nib. It writes actually beautifully. I just don't like the way it looks, but it writes really well. So it'd be like, oops, oops, let me try that again. It writes, writes really well. I do really like it. And it did come with, um, I'm not sure what this is called, but this thing, I completely forgot what it's called, but piston something like that i think it's piston but this was the very first fountain pen i had and once i got this really i fell in love with fountain pens because i journal i journal a lot quite a lot so i find my hand cramping just cramping sometimes and i have to force myself to stop doing what i enjoy doing because my hand is cramping and i found out if you get a fountain pen that might alleviate a lot of the cramping because you don't actually have to press. Like I'm not, I'm not pressing at all. Like there's no force in me writing compared to like a regular ballpoint pen. This is Muji 0 0.30, 0, 0 0.38. Like I actually have to press down for the ink to come out. So once I got this fountain pen, I fell in love. And there was this like fountain pen brand that I had in mind because I'll tell you why, but already used so many times, but this is the Sailor fountain pen. I essentially found this for like 50% off so I, I did hesitate a lot because I'm like I'm not used to spending that kind of like money on pens but I thought you know what something is off but you know what this is worth it because I can use it use it use it and just so many times <laughs> but it does come with its own cartilage right here but I actually wanted to use a its own what these names are called but it's okay i'm gonna google it after filming this video everything will be linked down below so don't worry if i forgot any names and you want to check it out link down below <laughs> but it i i bought it separately because it actually didn't come with with it oh a converter ha i remembered it um it does not come with a converter but that's okay because I did like pay like essentially 50% less for this than a lot of the stores I was looking at. So I did not mind buying the converter. Looks like this. It is 14 karat gold nib. And this is the new um the new nib. I did I did do some research. So um this is the new new nib, new design. I, I need to clean it up, but the older one, sorry, let me just see if it's gonna, okay, perfect. The older one has 1911 on the right, on top of that Sailor logo. This is also their new logo. I do prefer the old logo. I just think the old logo is a little bit classic, but this one, it's streamlined. So why not? Quite like that too, but essentially, this is the Sailor Shikiori Four Seasons. I forgot the Japanese equivalent, but it essentially translates to Autumn Moon. And this is just really like beautiful, like creamy white color. And I do really like it paired with the, the black because it is Autumn Moon. And for some reason, it this color combination just makes a lot of sense for Autumn Moon. It is. A medium fine nib. Next is the ink. Oh, let me show you actually. 
how that writes. It writes very, it, it writes really nice. I guess what people do is the S's. Am I doing this right? Da, da, da. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to compare this very quickly to, and um, this is an extra fine nib. So, what I've gathered is that essentially, when it comes to Japanese fountain pens, their fine is more fine than its Western counterparts. And I believe this is actually a Chinese brand, so, you know, probably there's no Western, I can't compare it to any Western brands, but that's what I can show you. Lose the Shren, which is extra fine. I can see... Yeah, this is like more fine than this one, but honestly, they're both fine. So it's great. But again, medium fine, extra fine. Now, the ink that I bought for it, I already tossed the the box that comes with it, but I bought this from Amazon. It's the Pelican 4001 in Brilliant Black. Honestly, honestly, it's great for for what it is. If I wasn't so picky, I would stick with this because I think it's a great ink. But it's just not, for whatever reason, it's not hitting the spot. So once I am done with this bottle, which I can imagine maybe like two, three months, I'm not sure. I, I, I just got this like a week ago and I've already had to refill the thing like twice so you know so my estimate is this will be done in two to three months I've refilled this twice and you know I'm I'm nearing my third fill for this pen so you know I do write quite a lot my estimate two to three months I'm gonna get a new a new one i'm thinking of the ferris wheel press they just didn't have any of the black um in stock at the time that i was looking and i found this one it was a good like budget friendly at alternative and i really wanted the the um ferris wheel press one so i'm just gonna wait it out for that one to go back in stock meanwhile i'm just gonna use this so that is um that's all for the video today i felt like i talked quite a lot and i'm so sorry if this video was a bit rambly it's not really planned i just got home and said you know what i'm in the mood to film let's do it now so i hope i hope this is okay but honestly if you have questions concerns ways that you want me to better explain things let me know any future video ideas if you guys want to see the past setups I've done, which ones work, what I didn't. Let me know. I'm I'm here and I love doing this stuff. So let me know. I will do it for you. But thank thank you so much for being here. I really, I really enjoyed filming this video and talking to you. I hope you have a wonderful week, a wonderful day, wonderful month, wherever you are. I hope to see you again on this channel, but if not, have a wonderful life. And bye!